Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all make it cool. Now today we're going back to OS X and we're talking about the terminal. Ah, the terminal. So much potential for sweet pimps dressed up in a boring, boring package. Almost as boring as the movie by the same name. Uh, okay, maybe not that boring. Let's step into my office, guys. All right. Now, the terminal. Now, as you guys know, I'm uh, still kind of new to OS X. And uh, to be honest with you, I've been spending a ton of time in terminal. A ton of time in terminal. Can we make that my epitaph, Maddie? Now, it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of curiosity and just kind of clicking around. So one thing I noticed was um, all the time I'm spinning in terminal and I'm just looking at this little tiny white box and blah, like this has been my PC. So I felt, uh, I felt a little dirty just doing with the, uh, the standard default whatever terminal. So what I found was terminal has some pretty sweet preference choices that you may or may not know about. And to be honest with you, a lot of the people I've talked to didn't know they had these options and have been freaking out now that they can play around with their terminal. So let's just uh, get started right now. So I've got terminal open already, so just in the menu bar here, I'm just going to go down to my terminal preferences. And you'll see right away, just on the left-hand side here, there's some uh, preloaded terminals that, uh, that, that uh, Apple put in. And uh, so, you, so we've got the basic one, and that's the one that you've been seeing probably for a while now. That's that boring white background with the black text that you've got to squint at every now and again. So, uh, so over here, we're just going to go down to, uh, uh, let's just go down to grass. So, um, as you can see, you've got this, and you could just go with it if you wanted to. And actually, I'll just pop that up for you guys so you can see it. There's the grass terminal. But the cool thing is, is you guys can actually kind of alter these as well. So you can customize the preloaded ones too. Um, now, the two that I'm going to stick with are the text and the window uh, sections of these pimps. Now, there's, uh, there's a shell keyboard and advanced section as well. But to be honest with you, I'm not that advanced yet. So if you guys are, more power to you. Hook a brother up if you know what's going on with it. I don't know yet, so I'm just sticking with these two. So text and window is kind of what we're going to focus on. So what you can do is change your text color. So let's say you're not really digging that kind of light green or light yellow, I guess. So we'll just go up and we'll make it a little bit of uh, lighter yellow. Uh, bold text, you can alter that as well. So we're just going to kind of pick some of these at random here. Going to alter my selection tab as well. And you can even uh, alter your cursor so you can see that guy a little bit better. So once we do that, and hey, you know what? I'm just going to show you this, this too. You can actually alter the total background itself. So we'll just uh, we'll alter that, make it a little bit lighter, close it out, and I'll just open it so you guys can see it. So now you can see that uh, that grass terminal, a little bit different now, right? But blah, 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 this is putting my PC. So we want to go custom from soup to nuts. So what we're going to do is show you how to create your own terminal. And basically, it's as easy as going down this left-hand column, clicking on the plus sign, and you'll see new settings pop up. And what that does is give you a base template for your terminal. And from there, you can do exactly what I just showed you. Alter the text, um, alter the color. You can go up to font and alter that as well. So you can even uh, give it a different, uh, a different style and a different size as well. So just in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and go to one that I've already created. And we'll just go to that right now. Now, one of the coolest parts about this that I thought was the fact that you can actually rename it. So right now in my title, I've, I've changed it from terminal to my sweet pimps, a little more fitting, right? So the next thing we want to do is make sure that I make that my default. And again, just go to that left-hand column, click on default, and that should be my default terminal now. There's one other place you can check this, and that's at the startup tab just to the left here. And you can see on startup open, new window with settings, that's going to open up my new terminal. That's the one I just created. So we just want to make sure that that's there. And uh, let's launch it, see what's up, show you guys what I'm talking about here. Boom, there's my custom terminal. So now the first thing you guys are going to see is you can actually see my background through it. And that was one of the coolest parts about this was you can control the opacity of your terminal. Um, I was trying to find a way to get background images into my terminal. You can't really, and to be honest with you, sometimes those background images can make it really hard to see the text that you're typing on there. So this was the next best thing. So you can see I've got my background that you can see through there. You can see at the top there, my terminal is now called My Sweet Pimps. And uh, one of the coolest things about this is I was able to control the size of the terminal, so no more squinting late at night trying to find these pimps for you guys. It's all it's bigger than, than anything. I can see it now. It's gravy. Don't need those glasses. So there you go, guys. That's pimping that terminal. Like I said, it's amazing what you can do with just a little bit of curiosity and uh, some extra time on your hands. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. And, uh, you know, pimping ain't easy, but registering that next domain name is with our friends at hover.com. 
Just make sure you check out that promo code at the bottom of the screen and use it the next time you register your domain name. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!